Now that we've created our web photo gallery in an outside image editing program and we've batched uploaded that folder as a zip file to our private files, now let's go ahead and post that entire gallery into our course. Make sure that editing is turned on and scroll down to the week two section. Here we've already gone ahead and added our section headings. You can find these in the chapter four exercise files if you haven't already posted them. Click the drop down menu and choose the option for add a file. We're going to go ahead and name this the week two image gallery. And under the description, we're going to put images presented in class to display the ecological diversity of a coral reef. Go ahead and scroll down to the content section. Click the add button in the standard file picker Go ahead and select Private Files. Go into your BIOL 432 folder, and inside of here, you should find the week2gallery.zip file that we uploaded in the last exercise file. Go ahead and select that file, and then simply click the Select This File button. Next, click the drop down menu that's just to the right of week2gallery.zip and choose the option for Unzip. You want to make sure that you haven't unzipped the file previously. You want to just do that here. So we'll unzip the file. Again, if we compress this on a Mac, you'll have this underscore Mac OS X resource file. You can simply click on that menu and select delete to get rid of it. Next, go into the week two gallery folder and you want to look for the index.html file and click the small drop down menu just to the right of that. You want to set this option to set main file. This means Moodle will then look to open this index.html file and it will in turn be able to open all of the other relative files. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit further. Next, we want to click the button for Show Advanced in the Options section. Here we have a variety of different options, but what we want to do is hit the drop down menu for Display and we want to display this gallery in a pop up window. That's going to spring open a whole new window for us. We can also set the pixel dimensions that we want that window to open up in. The default of 620 by 450 is not quite large enough. So we're going to go ahead and select that and we're going to type in 1024 by 768. That's going to be a pretty standard sized window. We can then scroll all the way to the bottom and click the button for save and return to course. When our page refreshes, go ahead and take the week two image gallery and drag it up into our lecture material section and go ahead and use the move right button to tab it in underneath of gallery materials. Let's go ahead and see if this worked. Click on the link for week two image gallery and you should get a pop up window that opens in a new browser window that has your photo gallery with the names of each of your images that your students can then click on one by one and be able to navigate through your slide deck one image at a time. They can then close this browser window and get back to your main course.